Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another purse transformation video. We are going to be repainting this white Steve Madden purse into this nice pink color for the summertime. So before we start, I want to invite you guys to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell if you guys are interested in seeing more purse transformations like this one. If you guys are looking to do this for yourself, you are going to need a couple of things. The first thing that you are going to need is a pair of gloves to make sure that your hands are protected. Every time that you paint, you want to have this on. The next thing that you are going to need is your paint. I specifically use the Angelus brand and today I am using the pink color. I highly recommend that you read the directions because this way you can make sure that you are not only using the paint correctly, but you are also being safe while you paint. In order to paint, I am going to use the brush that is attached to the paint bottle. I normally like to use this because it's much easier for me to use when I'm painting. I will also be using a plastic bag just so that I can make sure that I'm not making any messes in the area that I'm painting and I will just place the bag on top so that, that way I can freely paint. The last thing that I am going to be using is rubbing alcohol. This is just to clean the purse before I begin painting. So very quickly, I want to show you guys how the purse currently looks. This is a Steve Madden purse that I thrifted a couple months ago. I bought this bag with the intention of recoloring it pink or just coloring it a color that would be really nice for the summer. As you guys can see, this purse is in not so good condition. This just looks kind of dirty. It just doesn't look new and I bought it because I knew that it would be really cool to transform this purse. So the first thing that I normally do when I'm painting a bag is use some rubbing alcohol to clean the purse so that it can be ready for painting. Every single time that I paint, the one thing that I have to keep in mind is how am I going to start painting this purse? It's really important to know how you are going to start painting a purse because this is how you are going to be able to keep count of how many coats you're doing and how you are distributing your paint. I normally like to start on the corners and then work towards the center, which is what I am doing right now. One thing that you guys need to keep in mind when you're painting your own handbag is what sort of design or pattern is going on in your purse. This will help you paint your bag much easier. This is a quilted bag and so I decided to start painting every single square in order to make sure that I am evenly applying the paint on each part of the purse. I know that it seems like a lot but I did find it much easier to go paint in each square and then just keep progressing throughout the purse and it was actually very soothing and relaxing. Another thing that I did was make sure that I was going against the stitches because I know that the stitches are normally one of the hardest things that um, you paint and so make sure that every single time that you are painting that you are going back and painting in between the lines and in between the stitches. When you are painting a bag, it's really important that you notice those corners that are really hard to get to. That is why I decided to use the brush that was attached to the paint bottle because it allows me to get into really tiny details in those parts where you are not able to reach with a regular brush. So if you guys notice, this brush seems like it's really complicated to use. However, because I am using such a small brush, it allows me to get into those corners that are really hard to paint. And this is also going to help me balance how much paint I am applying on the bag. And it's also going to help me not waste too much paint. So while that first section dries off, all I'm doing is moving on to the next section right above. Normally I like to wait between 15 to 20 minutes before 
I paint the next section however because this inner part is right next to the area that's currently drying I figured it will be pretty smart to just save time and go ahead and paint this inner area right here. In case you guys are wondering why did I not tape hardware, don't worry guys, I promise you I will not get to those parts until I tape the hardware. All that I'm doing right now is establishing that first coat and then just removing as much of the paint as possible and then I am going to get into those details that need paint. So this is how the first coat looks on the bottom. As you guys can see, it actually looks really good. So I'm only going to have to go back and paint those little areas where you can still see some white. But for the most part, the first coat looks really good, which I'm really happy about. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how I paint this entire upper section. So while you guys are watching me paint this bag, I kind of just want to talk to you guys a little bit about the time that it took for me to paint this one bag. This bag took me about two and a half days to paint in total. I was taking my time with this, however, I also just wanted to make sure that I carefully painted the bag and that I found as many uh, white spots as possible because I know that sometimes when we rush to paint a bag, we can, we can kind of miss out those little white spots that are kind of giving away the fact that the purse is painted. And so I did take my time with it. I don't think that if you wait three days or two days, the purse is going to be uh, better, but I do think that it will make you notice a little bit better the details that are missing and that the areas that you need to paint. Now moving on to the back of the purse, I am following the same style of painting. I am starting from the corner and then working all the way to the other corner. I think that this is so easy to do and it's a lot more fun. Do not worry about the hardware guys, I put a piece of tape in there, it's just kind of hard to see. But everything is going to be good in the end product, do not worry. I did find that this purse was a little bit harder to paint, but I don't think that it had anything to do with the brush or the paint itself. I just think it was the fact that it was a much bigger purse and there were a lot more corners and details that I had to pay attention to and go back to. Uh, especially the inside of the purse, it's a little bit more tricky to paint. This was definitely a challenge for me, but I think that overall the paint came out really good. I. I'm truly an advocate for the Angeles brand. This paint has lasted me so long in my other purses that I have painted. I have not used any other brand, but I love this paint color. I feel like Angeles does such an amazing job in, in creating just really good paint for leather. Look at this pink color. It looks almost like, like it's made for the purse. And you guys will definitely see at the end. It just blends in so nicely and it seals really, really well.
if you guys notice here the paint looks wet on the bottom portion but on the upper part it looks like the paint is dry always keep in mind that your paint will dry a shade darker than the color that it's on the bottle Okay, so now we are moving on to the hardest part of this entire purse transformation, which is painting the hardware and the logo, just basically everything inside of the bag. The first thing that I did was try and tape the area as much as possible around the Steve Madden logo. As you guys can see, it looks pretty well covered, but it's definitely going to be a challenge to keep this entire area clean. I am going to start off with the logo just painting it however I can but as you guys will see it definitely gets really hard for the paint to not come off in those corners where the purse sort of uh, bends a little bit I'm going to show you guys in a minute when you are painting cloth I highly suggest not using gloves as you guys can see there are corners in the purse that are stitched to the bag and if you have cloth in them it's going to be really hard for you to see what part you're really grabbing and what part you're really painting. If you use gloves, the extra material in the gloves is going to you know, block your vision and it might even stain the cloth that you're using. I suggest painting any uh, cloth area with your bare hands. Just use your hands, you can actually go on ahead. If you get a little bit of paint, you wipe it off and it'll be much easier to paint than if you use gloves. I, next time whenever I am painting a bag that has this sort of material inside, I'm definitely gonna just use my hands and then adjust the material or hold it however I can. Because, you know, sometimes when you're painting with gloves, uh, paint will get on the glove and if you're grabbing the material, you're definitely gonna stain it. So just keep that in mind. So if you guys are wondering how many coats did I do for this purse, I actually did one full coat and I just kept going back and filling in the white parts or the white spots that still needed painting. The reason why I didn't do even coats on, let's say I didn't do two coats or three coats um, evenly, it's because I didn't know how much paint I had available. This was a much bigger purse and I only bought one bottle and I actually did good in doing that because I did not have enough for multiple coats. I probably wouldn't have enough paint to uh, paint the details in the bags and the corners that needed to be painted. So always keep track of how much paint you have and just see where you are you know, at each step. Make sure that you are conscious about how much paint you have left and how much you have to paint left.
everyone so I'm finally ready to reveal to you the final product and here it is I am so glad that I got to do this transformation with you guys I definitely needed a summer bag and this bag is perfect for the summer it looks brand new in perfect condition you guys thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video and for doing this entire purse transformation with me if you guys enjoyed this video do not forget like subscribe and comment and you guys have an awesome awesome day